Marcel Wong saying it's your boy Summoner Sports back again. I'm here today outside London Liverpool Street and in today's video we're going to be heading to one of Britain's most remote railway stations, Burnie Arms and you're going to be coming with me. My train's in 10 minutes and I've actually got here on time as you do so I'm going to go downstairs get on there and uh, yeah meet you in Norwich where we change on to our second train. I'm headed to Burnie Arms, which may be one of the UK's most remote stations. To get there, I made use of one of Greater Anglia's hair fair promotions, which allowed me to travel to Burnie Arms for only a £20 return fare. Now, I know, return from Burnie Arms? Eh? What? Don't worry, I didn't have to wait a day for the next train. You know, I've only ridden on these 745s three times I think, twice for literally one stop up to Tottenham Hale and then once from Bishop Stortford down to Liverpool Street. They're quite nice trains, I can't lie, better than the 720s. So it'll be quite interesting to be on this for just under two hours I think. So yeah, let's actually find us a good space. It's a long train so we're quite good. So when I was looking at the weather for today, I was actually shitting it because I thought, well, it was going to be heaving with rain. Boom, 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 boom. You know, what? I even put another pair of shoes, which I actually put on because we're going to be doing some walking. Let's have a look at the station. Honestly, I'm a city boy. There's two minutes to that. Uh, guess which one? And yeah, you don't get many opportunities where you get to just be in the middle of nowhere. Like, look at this, man. I thought Thornton Hall was in the middle of nowhere, but this is like, hey! Burnie Arms is on the Wherry Lines, which runs between Norwich and Great Yarmouth. And this station, from what I last read, gets two trains a day in each direction, Monday to Saturday, but then on Sundays it doubles. But then I've just checked for today, yeah, today's a uh, Wednesday. I've taken the only train to Great Yarmouth stopping here today. The timetable was changed a few weeks ago, so maybe that's that. So if I were to get a train from here right now, I'd have to wait about five hours. 
So the reason why there's more trains on a Sunday is because people like to go for a walk, you know. Uh, have lunch at, I don't know, Morrison's Cafe. Get on a train, have a nice little walk through the countryside and oh my gosh, those clouds behind me there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's my... The station here was opened on the 1st of May 1844 by the Yarmouth and Norwich Railway. As some of you will know, this lovely station and the line that runs through it was bought by the railway from a lovely Mr. Burney, a Mr. Thomas Trench Burney to be exact. And Mr. Burney was like, hold up, you can build this line, yeah? If you put a station on my land and name it after me. And here we are with a lovely Burney Arms. Mr. Burney's passed away probably a while ago. Yeah, he has been, hasn't he? Yeah. And you know what? From photos that I've seen of the station over the last hundred years, there used to be a lot more here. Like right in front of me here, you can see that the platform used to be longer and there used to be something here. And it's just been chopped off to this lovely hole behind me here. Apparently there's a post office here, a station cottage, a signal box, and now it's just this wooden platform like we're gonna have a look and see what's around the station there's not really much there's a lot of cows a lot of clouds there's a windmill that we'll be checking over on our way down to Great Yarmouth but first of all let's actually check what we have here at the station I've been chatting too much BS so let's have a look at the station facilities and see if it compares to I don't know the lovely London Euston so on this very short platform right in front of me here we have a crazy number of bike racks one and two that is 200 percent of one now if we walk about like five steps more you got three lovely benches one with some doo-doo on that or oh, i don't even know what that is come on got a lovely vintage sign of the station name and then oh hold up we've got three more benches come on six people waiting there's a bit more doo-doo on there come on right next to the other station sign we have a help Point. So what I'm gonna do before we get to the rest of the facilities, let's have a see if it works. Let's see. It don't work. It don't work. What? Hey! You know if I ain't got signal, if I ain't got phone battery, I'm supposed to rely on this unit. I'm not gonna press the emergency because it's not an emergency. But a greater Anglia. And there's, there's a solar panel there. Is there not enough sun to power it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how it's faded. That's Anglia trains. That is vintage. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. I found the reason why it's not working. The solar power. It powers this. Ooh. All platforms. There are no trains running. All trains heading up to Norwich. And then down here is the path from the station. Now, just pretend like I was saying all this in the video. It was very windy. Help me get a mic for my videos, please. Patreon in the link below. According to the Office of Rail and Road Statistics, Bernie Arms received an estimated 868 passengers in the period 2021 to 2022, which would be equal to one dude doing a return journey a day for a year and some of his friends tagging along from time to time. Bernie Arms was actually the least used station in 2019-20 with only 42 passengers, partly due to the line through the station being closed for most of the period due to engineering works. And then the whole country entered Bovid Bogdown. I've got to go and catch a bus from Great Yarmouth down to Lowestoft in around two hours. It's time to get stepping. Got my boots on, Greg socks on, and I'm ready to rumble. Stop, look, listen, we wear trains. Even if it is once a day in each direction, I'm stopping. I'm looking intensely. And we're crossing. There are timetables. So there are no taxi services located at the station, but you can call for one. But 
Okay. Of course, there's no buses, there's no cars, there's no taxi rank, there's no metro here. You literally come off the path and this is the entrance to the station. You either walk in 2.4 miles to the nearest village, Halvergate, or like me, you're walking the four miles to the nearest A road and five miles down to Great Yarmouth. I need to get stepping. So basically, I'm gonna catch a train from Lowestoft in about three and a half hours. So that gives me enough time to get into town into Great Yarmouth, get on a bus down to Lowestoft and have enough time so I don't miss the train. So let's keep it stepped off. Uh, the cows are in the way. Now, because of the lovely cows, not sheep, I was running around 15 minutes behind schedule and was looking likely to arrive quite late into Great Yarmouth. Luckily, I had seen that another bus would be able to get me into Lowestoft in time for me not to have to break a sweat when getting that next train. Miss it, and it was nearly two hours for the next one to which Right in front of me here is the Bernie Arms Windmill. Welcome to the Bernie Arms Windmill. So this place is actually closed right now. Um, it's managed by English Heritage and they're currently doing renovations on, I don't know, the inside, outside? The windmill actually opened in 1865 and was in operation up until 1948. So it's had a good run in terms of its active use and now it's actually quite a landmark of the local area. I think from what I saw, it's actually the tallest windmill in, where are we, Norfolk, Suffolk? We're in Norfolk, innit? And it's 21.5 meters high. So imagine that, yeah, 21 of one meters, 21.5 times one. So here is the river, yeah. It's high tide, like crazy. So there's not many boats because I think they have to go under a couple of bridges to get here. And down in the distance over there is the Bernie Arms pub. And we're gonna go have a look. I've just come on a track, which I'm guessing is Wherryman's Way, because there was another kind of nondescript uh, path that was just up there that runs along the water, but do I really want to do that? Time for the final stretch down the side of the A47 into the first site of civilization I would have seen for four hours. Great Yarmouth to Rambouillet, France, to 1956. We're nearly there, lads. And through there, there's actually some um, old Caledonian sleep Mark II coaches, I think. Oh, X1. No, mockery, mockery, mockery. I've just seen, yeah, that the bus I'm gonna get, I've just seen it go in the other direction. So are you telling me, if I found a bus stop and I waited there, instead of walking all the way into Great Yarmouth, I could have got there, got the bus. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Lads, that's my bus. That's my bus. That is my bus. Well, lads, I'm gonna go catch this bus down to Lowestoft so I can enjoy the rest of my day. Ooh, look, oh, train tracks. So this bus is gonna take about an hour into Lowestoft. Gonna get a train there from Lowestoft to Ipswich, Ipswich up to Norwich, Norwich down to Cambridge via the route that goes through Lake and Heath and Shipby Hill, and then down to London from there. But you're not gonna see that, nah, 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 nah. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment what you wanna see in the future. Thanks for watching this uh, bit of pain. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit. If you want to support your boy and support the channel, make sure you check out the Patreon and Ko-fi links in the description below. Just thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit.